Hi and welcome to this video about Xcode and the storyboard and how we're gonna make a nice little app that where we can move between different view controllers and know how that works and pass some simple data between one view controller and another. First off, thanks to all the people that subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, please like it and please subscribe. That helps a lot. And if you have suggestions for upcoming videos, there are links to below for a uh, survey where you can say what you like for the coming videos. And there's also a link to if you want to subscribe to a simple newsletter that comes out about twice per month with a small newsletter with some tips if you like this that is all right let's begin um, first off I created a simple um, single view view controller let's just do like this let's just add a label to this no layout rules or anything just make it simple and let's just call this VC1, as in view controller 1, just so we can recognize it when we see it. Let's just run this, just to see that this is what we see. Like this, in the simulator. Now we can do a nice layout and things like that, but that's not the point right now. What we want to do is navigate between different view controllers. So let's add another one. So here's another view controller. A simple way to do this, let's see, let's add a label to this. Let's call this VC2. And let's add a button. The first one here. Let's say go to VC2. When I click this button, I want to navigate to this. If we just want to go from one view controller to another, one simple way to do it is to select this. And let's see here. When I have the button selected, and this little circle, the connections inspector, I have action here for triggered segs. I click this and drag to this. And then it asks me how are we going to navigate there. Show is what we usually see, the one where it animates over. And then there are different ones. Show detail is a little bit special one. Present modally, presents all over. Let's just go for show right now. And let's just see what happens. Like this. It shows, I click the button, and now it moves up. I don't have any back. It moved up, it didn't move in from the side. It's because we're not in a navigation controller. The simplest way to do that is just to select the first one, the first view controller, and then say editor, embed in a navigation controller. Everything pops to the side. Now we have start in a navigation controller. Now let's see what happened to our labels. They're actually under here. I select label VC1, it's under there. For now, just to make it easier for us. Select the view controller. I mean this one, sorry, this one. Is here, extend edges under top bar. We can just deselect that. That means that the view starts here. Under top bar, like this. And let's run it again.
Now when I click go to VC2, it's the way we usually want this. Be able to navigate back and forward. Observe, no code whatsoever so far. But what if I want to do something like, let's do another button here. Pass to VC2. Let's make a button. Let's do some code now. I want to do, when I press this button, I want to take the value in this text field and have that displayed here. All right? So let's do like this. Let's open the assistant editor here. Now when I have this selected and it's automatic, I see the code for the view controller. Let's do an outlet for this, for the text field. Let's call this um, the text field, an outlet for that. And then let's have this button drag this in and make an action of this. Pass to VC2. So this is the code that's going to run when we click the button. Now we already have a connection here, but I'm going to ignore that and just say, for instance, there we, we ignore the other button. So let's select this view controller and say, I want to make a connection to this one. So I have the view controller connected. I go to the connections and I say triggered segs manual. And I make a connection over here. And I do show. Now the thing is, if I select the first one, you see it comes from the button. If I select the other one, it says from the view controller. I have to call this something. I have given an identifier. Let's call this um, pass data. And then we can see here how is it going to go and if it's going to animate. We can also do that on the manual one. We can select here how it's going to go over. But let's see the button. So I want to do, when I click this button, we can just very easily show that nothing happens right now when I click the other button. Nothing happens. Now, I want to say, when we click this button, do this. That is, perform, and then we can select here, perform seg with identifier. What's the identifier? We call it pass data because, here, select this. So select this, pass data, pass data. Sender, we'll get to that, but let's just say nil for now, nothing. If you run this, I go here. Now we've done this in code instead. All right, so now let's pass some data. This view controller, if I want this, let's see now that I selected it, here we have some strange code. This is the default UI view controller. We don't have any dedicated code for this view controller. So let's make that. 
let's make a new file new cocoa touch class let's call this yeah, let's call it vc2 it's a ui view controller next let's add this let's shoot this again it shows the code but let's go back to the storyboard and let's say select the view controller and this one and we can select where is my code your code is in vc2 view controller so now it has its own dedicated code now we can open i'm gonna take this off and open the assistant editor now let's do stuff here first off i want to change the label so I take the label in here and I call this the label. Then I want to pass some data to this. And we're going to pass the string that's in this text field over to this one. So I need this to be able to receive a string. So let's create a variable. And let's say let's call this um, the past string and let's say it's a string optional right then let's do like this here view did load is when the view is created what we need to do is do view will appear that means it's about everything is ready to be shown then we're gonna do stuff then I say the label your text is what's ever in this the past string like this so when this shows it's gonna take what's ever in this string and put it in the label so what we need to do is before this is shown we need to change the value of the past string all right we can do this actually in the assistant editor so let's just click on something here now we're in the code for this view controller the view controller so let's see when we say pass to vc2 then we say hey perform this say what happens then is that it loads up this view controller builds it up in memory at this point, view did load is going to get called at some point. Then, here we can do prepare. Let's see here prepare for seg. Now we get a, get a chance to interfere. We get a chance to change the coming view controller before it's being shown. So here we can talk to it. And here you say sender, that is whatever you passed here. So you say start loading that out of view controller at and some point in the future, some milliseconds later, this is going to get called. So what we can do here is get a connection to the coming one. I just call this dest vc, my own variable. That is, here you see seg, that is details about this 
um, going to another view controller. This has an option called destination. That is, okay, here's a reference to the coming view controller. Right now, it's just a standard UI view controller. I don't want that. I want my own VC2 view controller. So let's say I want it as a VC2 view controller. All right. I have a reference to the coming view controller. Then I can say, let's change the past string equals to whatever in the text field. The text fields text. Let's try this. Let's write here. Let's write hello. Pass. Now it says hello. The thing is, if I write um, ABC and I click the other button, what happens? It still says ABC, even if I click the other one. Because this one doesn't take into account, it's just preparing to go somewhere. So here, we probably want to do like this. If the segs identifier is, what did we call it? Pass data. Then let's do this. So then it will only do it for that. That usually if you have a view controller that have, you go to different other view controllers, you want to do this. If we're going on this seg, do this. If we're going on this seg, do this. So now if I write um, x, y, z, go to vc2, nothing happens. Now it actually takes the label and it gets the value in the past string, which is nil from the beginning. And if I do the other one, pass to VC2, XYZ. So that's a simple way to pass data from one view controller to another and to make different uh, going from one place to another. All right. I hope you liked this video. I plan to make several more about different small topics regarding development for iOS, mainly in Swift. Thank you.